welcome back to Professor Epps. I'm Stephanie Epps. I'm a wife, a mom, nurse practitioner, and a small business owner. Here on this channel, we talk about all things holistic health and wellness, including financial freedom, debt payoff. In today's video, it's going to be pretty brief, y'all. I am going to share with you all an update on the no spend challenge for October, and we're going to unstuff my wallet. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the no spend challenge for October. Y'all, I have been using my kiddos like green crayon, but um, yeah, I think I need to use a marker or a highlighter in the future. But for the purposes of October, we're gonna finish it out with this green crayon. So today is the 22nd and I have spent zero dollars today. In the no spend challenge, each person does it differently. You know, you can have your variable expenses to include, you know, um, gas for your car if you're going to eat out but not spending anything extra or you could be very restrictive to the standpoint where outside of your four walls utilities gas rent um transportation um i'm missing something aren't i four walls you and rent utilities transportation and groceries those are the four walls you don't buy anything else and earlier in the month, I'll show with you, show y'all, on the 7th, we went out as a family, I spent extra money. The 10th was the business purchase, which I already replaced that money. And on the 11th, on the 11th, this really should not have counted as a spend day because it was part of my four walls. It was groceries and it was gas. The 12th, we already talked about, that was my skincare. Oh, no correction. My kiddo had a um, like Western day at school, so, so she got a new outfit and some boots. So that was not uh, budgeted for, so we paid for that. On the 15th, I in error colored this in, but this was when we went to the movies last week, so that was $26. So for the last week, outside of the movie theater, I have done well. I wrote in $6.58 on the 18th because my kiddo had McDonald's. I think I did a short about that. And on Friday, she went to Moe's. That was $6.47. This money came out of, I think, spending was the variable expense envelope. So it wasn't any additional money, but I still wrote it down because guess what? We have food at home. There was no need for us to really eat out, but we, well, I didn't eat out. She did. So I still wrote those down. Otherwise, the 19th to the 21st and 22nd, we have not purchased anything else. So, so out of 22 days, um, we're not going to count these two. We're not going to count this one. We'll say one, two, three. And I'm not even going to count this one because, like I said, this was a business purchase. And I've already, for my, my business, replaced the $7.75. So for me, I'm going to say one, two, three days for a true um, exceeding the no spend. The others, this was, like I said, was gas and groceries. These two were food, um, but they came from my variable expense envelope in regards to spending. So now let's unpack, unstuff my wallet. The money that's in this wallet, maybe will go into savings challenge binder. So this is 350 and this binder is $1,500. They are both from Baddies and Budgets. I'll put the link in the description. I do not have any affiliate with the company, but I wanna support a business and save some money. All right, so this wallet is from the Aesthetic Dollar and my envelopes um, are from Trains Plans. So let's see what do we have left in gas. 20, 21, 22, 23, $23. And I think it's just spending. What's left in spending? 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, okay. All right, so I saved my dollars in a mason jar. So how many dollars do we have? That was three. So I think seven dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. We're gonna put our eight dollars 
here in the mason jar. And I was thinking about getting like a piggy bank or something, but guess what? We had this mason jar at home and it cost me zero extra dollars. So why am I going to buy something at the current moment that I really don't need? I'm not going to. Oh, let's get our change out, y'all. We have some change in here. Take my cards out. Oh. Emily from the Aesthetic Dollar is where I got this wallet. Y'all, um, her shop is closed right now because she um, is on like a vacation with her spouse. So I would link it in the description, but she is, her, her shop is closed. I think a couple videos back, I put the link for the wallet so y'all can check back a couple videos if you would like. So here is all the change that we have in the wallet. And these little guys are my kiddos. Y'all see that? Y'all don't care, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Little best friend's heart. So one for her, one for me. And she asked me to hold on to them in my wallet. So let me put this back while I'm thinking about it. Put my two cards back. Let's put our change here. Whoops. And now, how much money do we have to place in our savings finder? $65, right? 20, 40, 60, and five. This is the little one that's 350. What can we put in here? Oh, we can do 25. Are there any other options in here? There's 30, there's a 15. We don't have any 10s though. There's 80. So I'm thinking $25. Where was that 25? Here it is. We'll just slide it in here. We're getting closer to $350 and we have $40 left. Let's see if this $1,500 one has a 40 slot or a couple of 20s. Or I may have to move some of these 10s around. $100, nowhere near that. Oh, here's a 20. Here's a $20. I don't think I ever told y'all what Suge and I, my husband, decided to, um, use the savings for. So we just decided that it will be another $20 slot here for a new washing machine. So I think the washer is like $750 or $800. So we'll have a little extra left over, um, but we have a plan. Initially, I was just saving to save in these um, little binders, but now we have a goal, a new washing machine. We've unstuffed our wallet, put our change away, our dollars away, put our savings in our budget, our savings challenge folders here, binders. And we have um, reviewed our no spend for October. Let me know how you all are doing with no spend October. Let me know how your savings challenges are going. As I said before, I will link the savings challenge binders from baddies and budgets in the description. So thank y'all for joining in today. I know the video is kind of brief, but just an update for um, wallet unstuffing and saving a few dollars. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and come back and join next week. Have an amazing day.